Dr. Rose, may I have a word about Marshall Ashford? You know I can't discuss his case with you. I know, but uh, I couldn't help noticing that you quickly determined it was a simple medication issue. I'm confident in my diagnosis. With all due respect, in my experience, it's best to perform ambulatory monitoring to rule out any underlying causes of hypertension. I understand you're a very experienced nurse, Ms. Johnson, but as Mr. Ashford's doctor, I know what I'm doing. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm a little embarrassed by all the, uh, all the attention. So this has happened before? Oh. Doctor says there's better medication that should help. How long, Marshall? With the prescription? No, how long have you had blood pressure issues? This isn't an issue. I have it all under control. Really, look where you are. There's nothing to concern yourself about. What if it's hereditary? Leave it alone. You know, for someone who claims they want a relationship, you do. I do. Well, then why is everything off limits with you? Not, not everything, just some things. Curtis, if I thought it was important or affected you hold in on, any way, I would... Your medical history is not important. You just suffered a cardiac episode, Marshall. I'm fine. Didn't the doctor talk to you? I'm talking to you. I need information from you. Does anything warrant a conversation, or am I only allowed to know that you play the clarinet? I'm sorry that the events in my life have made me guarded. And I'm also sorry that the events in your life have made you inquisitive. These are regular, run-of-the-mill questions. The only thing that's irregular is that you refuse to answer them. Curtis, I hope and pray that we will somehow find a way to reconcile our differences. These are big differences. But then I didn't amount to romance. And I'm willing to try. Are you?